So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0128 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P0128 code? Well, it's a coolant thermostat coolant temperature below the thermostat regulating temperature. And some scan tools might give you something like cooling system malfunction or something along those lines. But what does this mean? Well, basically the engine's supposed to be operating inside of a set temperature range. It's not supposed to be going too high or too low. And for some reason this isn't happening. Very likely the engine's running too hot or something like that. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted, no why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, first thing to go and do is check your coolant level. Be sure that it's correct. Be sure it's not low or anything like this because low coolant is going to cause issues. If it is low, be sure to add some in. Be sure to look for any leaks, a hose leaking or something like this. But the first thing to do is check your coolant levels. And if it's low, be sure to add some in. Another thing that can cause this problem is that there's air inside the coolant system. And depending on the Honda, the year, the make and things like this, there's going to be a procedure on how you bleed out the air out of the coolant system. Older Hondas would have like a bleeder valve where you could unscrew it and it would let the air out. Other ones will have a procedure where you loosen up the radiator cap and then you start up the engine, you let it run a little bit and then you shut the engine off and, and that'll bleed the air out of the coolant system. So basically you'd need to Google your specific Honda and how you get rid of the air inside the coolant system to get the specific method on how you do it. But the next thing that could cause this problem is going to be air in the coolant system. And the most common thing with this code is that there's a bad thermostat and it's just gone bad. It's like stuck closed or something like that. The location of the thermostat is going to vary. It's going to change a little bit depending on the Honda and the year. For example, here's the 2016 Honda Accord and it would be located right down inside of here is going to be the thermostat. There's a housing down in here and you'll have one hose going to the radiator. Underneath this housing is going to be the thermostat. And a bad thermostat is going to be the most common problem with this code. There's some different ways you go about testing to see if the thermostat's bad, but the next thing to go and check is going to be if there's a bad thermostat. And the next thing on the list is going to be that there's a bad coolant temperature sensor. And if this sensor or sensors go bad, there could be more than one, then it might be reporting bad information back to the onboard computer, so the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. Again, the sensor location is going to vary. It's going to depend on the Honda. There can be one. There can be multiple sensors. For example, here's a 2012 Odyssey, and this one has two sensors. Here's the engine coolant temperature sensor right here, and then another one down here at the bottom of the radiator. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram where they're laid out and where they're at to know exactly what's going on on your particular Honda. But the next thing to look for is gonna be engine coolant temperature sensor. And when you are looking at those sensors, keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring going to the sensors, open, short, bad connection, blowing fuse, is gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So definitely keep that in mind. And then the last thing on the list is going to be that the computer needs a software update. And this is not very common. This is fairly rare. This doesn't happen very often. But some newer Hondas do have software updates that can help solve a P0128 code that keeps coming back. Like I said, this isn't very common. This is fairly rare. But if you do go through everything else and you just can't seem to solve this problem, you might want to look at the version of software that's in your vehicle and check to see if there is a software update because there has been updates that help solve this code. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P0128 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.